Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with what's sold on eBay and Poshmark. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Good, I hope. Hi. We're, we're doing all right. We went on a road trip. We did. We went an hour and a little bit away to get a new floor for the garage. Yes, step right one off. in garage project. Facebook Marketplace <laughs> score. Woo. All right, we have two. It's a very, very slow day, just it, so you know. Yeah. Two on Posh and eight on eBay. Uh, one of them came in just a few minutes ago, kind of saved the day, yeah, but everything's sure. very, very slow. We didn't list yesterday. It was the first day we've missed in a long time. Uh, we had a film premiere and so we just didn't, we just didn't. Sometimes life happens. It just didn't, didn't work out. <laughs> but we will be listing again and, uh, hopefully we'll just kick it into high gear. Yeah. All right. The first thing we sold actually two of this brand and we've never sold a brand before. Yeah. Oh, but they haven't paid yet. The other people haven't paid. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Okay. Uh, the, brand, the brand is Piazza Sempioni. Yes, it's and very it's nice. it's very nice. It's very expensive. Here you go. But the retail market for this is just not great. Resale. That's what I meant. Yeah. It's just not great. I got you. I got you. Uh, this sold for 15 bucks on Poshmark, and it's been listed a very long time. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. How much do we pay for it? Um, This says $3.99. I probably did pay three ninety nine because I was like, "This is Italian. This yeah, is nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> it feels really nice." But I didn't know. I knew, but I didn't practice looking up sell through rate until the last year and a half, maybe two years. So this is older than that. Now I know. Even though it's nice, sometimes people don't want to buy it on eBay. It's true. That's true. We did sell another pair of this brand pants today. That's a spoiler. Uh, but only for $24. So mm -hmm. I'm telling you, when we go to these ladies' closets and they're all real nice closets, they have this brand. So people with good taste are picking it up. Yep. But I don't know why they're not picking it up on eBay or Poshmark. This is Poshmark. I don't know. Okay. Next is one of the things we always get at the bins and we talk about it all the time. <laughs> These are Vineyard Vines Chino shorts, and they are pink, kind of red, kind of pink. Yep. I will pick up a pink Vineyard Vines Chino short every single time <laughs> without yeah. fail. Yep. Yeah. Boom. 22 bucks on Poshmark. Love it. We paid 99 cents for them. Every time I'll get them. It's like a $20 bit. You know, if you're like at the bins and it's like cha-ching, 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 <laughs> you're like Donkey Konging or something. You know what I mean? Or like Mario Kart. You're just like, khaki shorts, Vineyard your brides, khaki shorts, <laughs> Nautica, khaki shorts, Ralph Lauren. <laughs> cha -ching, cha I just see a $20 bill. That's in my eyes. Because they're super fast to list. Now, I wouldn't do this if it was like dress shirts or something because they have to steam them. I don't, we don't steam them. No. We do not. We put them in the heater so it all kills off all the nasties. And then we just post them. Because yep. dudes buying khaki shorts do not care about wrinkles. That is absolutely 100% true. Uh, I can vouch. <laughs> so we just like... Cha-ching! Put them in the cart. Uh, that's actually a hot tip. Hot tip! For those of you... Here's here's a story. We went to a thrift today in the middle of nowhere. Middle we went to, of nowhere. And I mean nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> it was a Goodwill, and it had just opened. And there was nothing. Like, there was... We bought one thing, because that was one thing. Yep. I kept thinking about you guys that watch this channel. You keep telling us there's nothing at my thrifts. We can't find Eileen Fisher. We can't find, you know, all this stuff. I get it. Mm -hmm. That was rough. But you know what they had? Chino shorts. <laughs> they had a plethora. They were $3.99. So you might have to wait till your dollar day or your right. half off day. Yeah. But there are ways to make it. And so I'm hopeful that you can see us selling a Vineyard Vines pair of shorts and you can find that kind of thing at your thrift. That's yes. why we've started to kind of intermingle the levels <laughs> of what we're selling because i hear you i feel you i understand all right this is a great sale ready absolute banger yes absolute i knew it was gonna i knew it was gonna be good this is a bins find oh look at this thing this is a safari bush jacket safari jacket because it has a belt it's kind of like a trench coat mixed with a shirt yes uh it's got these big pockets here big pockets here you could call this a utility it's got the thingies up there yep. 
is super the epaulets, that's super what vintage Banana Republic. We love a vintage Banana Republic. I mean, like, look at that. Tip. Okay, so here's the deal, y'all. Here's another hot tip. Hot tip. If you cut out Banana Republic because you're too snobby like we used to be, and you're like, oh, that's Banana Republic. Even if you're at your small town thrift and you find a vintage banner, you're like, oh, Banana Republic. I don't, I don't do mall brands. Okay. This thing sold for $150. Super quick. Yeah, you just... <laughs> it sold in two days for $150. You know what, though? We were at the bins. We did not comp it. But when I comped it, there was a sold for $150. Yep. So I knew that I was not going to take one cent less than $150. And so I put it at 200 and then we have a 20% off sale, then we have a 5% coupon, and then I send offers. So when there was a bunch of likers, and I sent a $150 offer. I sent it like three times to new new likers, or I mean watchers. And finally someone bought it. You know where it's going? This is the most exciting part. Oh, I hadn't even looked at it. Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, how sweet. That's awesome. Some like person is going to actually like safari in this. <laughs> I love it. I love everything about it. So look out for Vintage Banana Republic. That's the moral of the story. And the other moral is don't just write off an entire brand. Yeah. There's always pieces of that brand that are going to buck the trends and make you lots of money. And this is one of them. Any kind of utility jacket I look up. Any brand. We sell a lot of them. Shacket. I think I put that in the title. Do you want to know the title? You do. Yes, they do. Banana Republic Men Size 40 Safari Bush Jacket Shacket Light Khaki Vintage 80s. Nice. That was it. And then I put a ton of words in the theme. Put a ton of words. I was like, remember I was like, jungle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's going to Alaska, so it's not going to the jungle, but whatever. You know, I say outdoors, hiking. I was just, because when we list at night, if you ever see us listing, um, I just fill in all item specifics until Dan's done with the photo rooming and sending me the photos. I have a little extra time. So I was just, I was brainstorming. <laughs> The next is all this. Right. Okay, we sold two housewares. And if you like to see us pack up housewares, this is one of the last times you're going to see it. Yep. Because we have stopped selling things like this. Although, I don't know if I could leave this. This is a... Um, the title is Marshall Pottery Brian Miller Signed Vintage Mixing Bowl with Handle and Spout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. Yes. This thing is awesome. It's got this really beautiful ombre glaze on it. It's a mixing bowl, like I just said. It has a signature on the bottom. And then look at the swirl in the middle. I knew this was high quality. I was like, someone made this. Yes. Now you get to watch us uh, hack, uh. hack a pack. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking about it. I really, I think this is one of those, I would feel better. If box in a box? box. Yeah, yeah because for it's sure. so heavy and it's fragile. I agree and... with this box in a box technique. Okay. Dan's sweating over here. Uh, it's just, I, I feel like... All right, we need to pack the trying inside to, of it. I'm trying to avoid dimensional, but it might, it might No, we'll just, we'll just send it UPS. That'll be good. How much did it pay? $12.99. Bruh, it's going to Texas. We're going to be totes okay, fine. Okay, okay. Yes, I call my husband bruh, like, more than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth. It's going to Texas. See? The good Lord was looking out for us on this one, because this thing's heavy. $31.96 is what it sold for. We have had it for a very long time. But I I think I got this at the bins or something. It was like somewhere where I couldn't leave it. No, this is too nice. Someone worked really hard on this, similar to the other day when I, you know, bought no, that. this came from a thrift. Well, okay, well, I still bought it. How much did I pay for it? Nine bucks. I paid nine dollars for it, y'all. I was crazy. <laughs> I, I lost my mind. Yep. This is a cool thing, though. A mixing bowl that looks like this. I almost wanted to keep it so many times. Mm -hmm. We could fit, fit it in our cabinets. So then I was like, all right, we're going to... Actually, that's why I paid $9. I was going to keep it. And then we realized we did not have the space. We did bring in some bubble wrap. Dan brought it from the garage. Uh, we hang it above. There's lots of vertical storage in this little baby office of ours. So we stuffed it with paper. I'm gonna tell you what's happening. I'm not sure if you can actually, yeah, you can see it. I'll move this. This also sold, it's another bowl. Today was the day of bowls, I don't know. Yes. I don't know. One of these chair leg foam things. Okay. Do you need this? No, I'm not gonna need that. And, um, should I keep going or are you, 
too weight? Are you good? We don't have that yeah. much bag. This is going to take me a minute. He's wrapping the outside in the bubble wrap, like so. You need an assist. There's some tape, so I don't know if I'm going to need it. I'm very happy that, so we have a shelf outside of our office and it has all of our hard goods on it. The shelf is getting pretty barren yes. and I am happy about it. Um, I, I think we will still sell smalls in the future, but I do not think we will sell breakables or electronics at all. I just don't see that in our future. Right. As of right now. Yeah, I really don't either. We're just not set up for it. And it's, it's very stressful. I do love buying this stuff. I wish I could buy it for someone else. I think we're changing a diaper. It's very strange. I know. Very awkward. Good first, good first, first time around. <laughs> okay. We have, uh, what do we have? Hair pockets. Hair pockets. That's what we have a lot of. We have paper. I like paper. Alright, I got some paper for you. It's a very long paper. Oh, you've got a good bag. This one's great. We have all these, and I have, oh look, big bub. Oh, nice. There's mm -hmm. a bug in there. Oh, there's like a spider in there. Ooh, where? No, you just have worked it out. Ah, uh, he's right here. I think he's dead. See that oh, little, that little tiny thing? Yeah. I just don't want to send him to somebody. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, dead spider friend. Did you get him? Got him. I don't kill spiders. I will have you know. I think that is very bad luck. Look at his big bub. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Trying to hit our goal today, and it is just looking pretty bleak, y'all. <laughs> nope, no more payments. Can't even send out invoices to try to get encourage people to pay. So we have six waiting for payment. Woo! You know, you know, you know. Wait, I just updated. Now it says eight. eBay, get it together! <laughs> Box, right? I think I should. Yeah, it's just going to Texas. Okay. Do we have another box? Hold. I had this plan, but I don't know how far how far you plan. I didn't. I had one set aside in the garage, but then I was like, nah, I shouldn't. But now I definitely think we should. Okay. So. Don't keep pushing it like that. It's me nervous. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Pushing it. Sorry. All the weight on it. I don't like it. Alright, let me go get that other one real quick. This fits inside of it? Sure, yeah. Okay. Okay, friend. I think this one would have worked, but he's gonna go get one. So we'll be out. Alright. 
We're gonna start on a bundle and this is for Patricia. Thank you. This was an exciting bundle to come through because we did not have a lot of sales. So I'm very thankful. This is like a poncho scarf bundle, a scrundle. Okay, the first thing is black cashmere blend fringe sweater knit poncho asymmetric one size. This is a super cool thing. You put it over your head and then it has all this fringe and it's cashmere. It just didn't have a brand, but we still listed it and we still got it from Vince because it was awesome. It says fringe on it. Okay, I'm not gonna take it out because it's cashmere and it doesn't have a label to show you anyway. But you get it, right? You put it over your head and then your arms like a poncho. Okay, next was this, this is from the brand Splendid. I love this brand, but it does not resell very well for us. But this scarf was super cool. This is called an infinity scarf because it is a circle. And I love this because it's made out of like a ribbed t-shirt material, almost like a tank top. It's blue and gray striped and you could, this is really nice. You could do it three times or two times, or however you want to wear it. So this, and then the final scarf, which is the showstopper. It's this guy. This came from the bins. I don't know why the t-shirt bros shovel all the clothes and they miss all the good stuff. This is a Missoni scarf and y'all it's light as a feather. It's so good. I'm gonna show you the brand tag. It's the orange Missoni label, which is the banging one. This was in the bins. T-shirt bros did not even glance at it. <laughs> Look at the gorgeous knit. Look how gorgeous this is like so, and this is what I talk about all the time, like the really funky color palettes of high-end things. Like this lavender and this tangerine and periwinkle. I mean, come on. <laughs> Come on. This thing is flawless in the bins, going to the dumpster. What are we missing right now? Get in the car, let's go. <laughs> Can you imagine what we're missing? This is a summer weight scarf. It's a, I mean, you can tell the quality because it's just so lightweight. Look at the stretch that it has. Look at that. That is what Missoni is known for, these stretchy knits. This is 100% viscose or rayon and stunning. So those, the first scarf sold for 30, the second scarf sold for, sold for 10, and this one sold for $60. Patricia, you're gonna love this. Thank you so much. I hope you love it. I love this. If I wasn't poor, I would have kept it. Is there some more paper you could for me. Excuse me, I'm handling the Sony right now. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Whoa, 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 buddy. All right, all right, hold on. You're freaking out, man. You're freaking out. Any more? I got a bunch more. I found it. Perfect. That's any more? One second. Stop pushing on that. I'm compressing the paper now. I know, but I think it's, you know what I'm saying? Ah. Sometimes you don't know your own strength. And it'll be like crunchy and like, oops. And will be like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. hey, hey there, guy. Is this, no, see, is this the salon with the handle? This is the proud side or is the proud side? Proud side's on the move. Okay. To... I don't want anything to happen to this scarf. Oh, I have those little boxes. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna use this little box. Look at this little box. 
I got my scrapbooking stuff in this, but it's perfect for this Missoni. Because I didn't want anything to happen to the knit. All right, oh you ready gosh. for uh, these dimensions? I'm handling a Missoni oh, search. Okay, okay, go ahead. Uh, 16 by 12 by 8. Six pounds and ten ounces. Right. It might not be so bad since it's just going to Texas. It's all about the zonage. Oh, look at that. I know. That's, you fancy. <laughs> okay, so that bundle is going to, this is all Patricia's bundle. Thank you. <sighs> I'm so excited to know that that scarf is going to because I love it that much. All right. We got another we got another doozy this one's not as doozy but it's pretty doozy all right i'm a sucker for enamel wear i i got this at the bins it had the top i had to I just had to have it i'm sorry i'm not sorry <laughs> so enamel wear is stuff that your grandparents probably had maybe you have some in your kitchen we do in ours i just i'm a sucker for it and this has um some really beautiful artwork on it it's definitely super 50s and 60s um made in china and it has a stamp i did look all of this up at the time we've had this so long i can't even tell you and why did both these bowls sell on the same day i don't know but um this one was called enamelware peacock bowl with lid antique floral ninth well i said 1930s to 1950s i guess that was my research china rare vintage this also sold for 31.96 how does that happen? We sold two bowls that we've had forever for thirty-one ninety-six each. I don't know. I'm gonna wrap this up in some of this bubble. Oh, come on. What's wrong? Is my box messing you up? Why don't you just put that all in the flat rate? Right? I'll try it if you want. Now, enamel wear is not, nothing's going to happen to this thing. This is way easier to pack up than the other roll, which was pottery. Can you that one eight? Yeah. So we don't have bubble wrap in our lives anymore. Do you have a box? I do. Okay. I'm just kind of like, eh, with this one. It's like yeah. metal. Right. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Twelve by ten by six and a half. One pound, ten ounces. Okay, next is a soft surroundings, women's size small, bardo, gauze, jacket, oatmeal, linen, blend, blazer. 
and lot. this sold for 20 bucks and i think i was probably hoping to get more but it does fit all the qualifications for things that are selling now and we've had it listed a really long time and it just sold now so i think that's good okay i will show you it's nice it is nice just gone for more it's okay soft surroundings you guys know this tag look at this thing it's really textured it's like oh man i wish this was my size <laughs> It's very natural. I feel it. Yeah, you know it's super I mean? cool. Made from linen. It's slouchy. It's a un we call this an unstructured blazer. It's a cool piece. So twenty bucks going to Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, that'd be perfect in Charleston. Perfect, I tell you. Perfect. And low dollar sales, but you know what? We had some sales. That's true. Can't can't be mad about it. I just hope it's not like the summer slowdown starting already. No! Ah! <laughs> no! What are you saying? We have to claw our way through summer slowdown this year. We're gonna claw our way through it. Man, you put that in a padded. What are you doing? It was eight ninety nine for shipping. I know, but you're supposed to be. <laughs> This guy. Yeah, just, I don't know if I could have. Did you put it in? Did you get rid of them in here? No, I got them over there. <laughs> I is, tried to put them out of reach. Just papers. He still does. Now he's just like goes over there instinctually. But for it. no, for that though. I know. It's I like, know. Come on. <laughs> Next, E N Y C E. Do you say E nice or you say E N Y C E? I don't know. We don't know. These were big, like when I was in high school. A little bit after that, maybe early two thousands. Uh, e N Y C E men size forty denim blue jean shorts city street baggy hip hop big pockets yeah yeah um I right, want to try it paper <laughs> yeah save us the money we didn't get in a lot of sales today yeah. all, right, all right all right all right these sold for fifteen ninety nine we've had them a very long time so happy to see those go and hopefully they go to their lovely new home as soon as show you the thing I'll show you the label since he already packed them up real nice E N why CE? Some of this stuff does better. This, I don't know why these were so slow to move. They were very big shorts. Like, as far as the legs go, they're like really, really wide. Remember on Clueless? It was like that. <laughs> Flat rate. And they have to go, they're over a pound just for some shorts. That tells you. All right. Do you want me to repackage that blazer? No, no, no. <laughs> There we go. I'm still waiting for somebody to pay. You sent out invoices, right? I did, yeah. Man, six waiting for payment. And we only sold... Man. 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 Come on, payments. All right. All right. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go, kids. We can do this. It's gonna storm here, so I want to get them to the post office before it storms. Wow, all priority. That's not happened to us in a million years. <laughs> Can you believe it? No. Okay. We didn't have a single first class package. That's crazy. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Believe what? First class? No, the bowl is cheaper with priority mail than it is for UPS. Yes. Yes. How much? The priority mail is nine dollars and ninety cents. See. UPS ground is twelve ten. I guess it's the closer priority mail. It's gotta be the the distance. Yeah. yeah. Priority mail prioritizes distance. Wow. And UPS is like, you gotta pay me a premium just to mess with it, but then you're good no matter how far. Maybe that's how it is. Maybe. I'm all thinking this, y'all. Don't, don't believe me as fact. I don't know. I don't know. Looking for that dang free people bag. I threw it somewhere. Dang it, dang it. Dang the free people one? Yeah. I put it in the thing. Where? It's hang the. Yeah, yes. Hang over there. Yes, yes. <laughs> y'all, I picked these up at the bin, so put the Poshmark packages in them. For you, when you shop at free people, they give you these for free. That's why they're called free people. 
Dad joke. What? What? Nothing. We got so many floor tiles, y'all. Oh my goodness. They're foam. You know, like for like a preschool. They're all multicolored. <laughs> I was so hopeful that when we got there, they were reversible. So we didn't have like... It doesn't look like we're working in a Chuck E. Cheese. And... Dun, 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 they are! Yay. Blessed. So we're going to have a gray floor. Unless I decide to get a wild hair. <laughs> Which could happen. Let's work in the Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Seven, eight, six, zero. The bowl pottery. for Patricia. Thank you. I hope you love it. I love it. The enamelware bowl. All the bowls. The linen blazer. 6514. We've got 20 minutes, 19 minutes to make it to the post office, which is going to be no problem at all. You just jinx yourself. <laughs> and then we'll be back to talk about the profits. Money! Money! Hey, Jeremy. How you feeling? About like that? You good boy. What's your sister up to? Where's Picnic? Picnic. Hey. What are you doing? You excited? No. You good girl. <laughs> we'll get you guys some treats in a few minutes, okay? Say bye. Bye, picnic. Bye, Jeremy. Hey. We did pretty good. Did we? Yeah. I was shocked. Wow, look at that. I'm shocked as well. Uh, shocked, I tell you. $280 in profit, which, you know, is like 20 bucks from our goal. And if we go to the month to date, we're like not that far down. If we don't do something to like pick up, it's going to be an issue. Yeah. But you can have a couple of off days and still like you know, pull it together. Like we should be at 1200, but we're still like one sale. Like we sold a $150 thing today. We're one sale away yeah. potentially from getting back on track. Yeah. So we're going to list a ton tonight. Uh, you're seeing this on Monday, so it's fine. We're still going to list a ton. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that as well. We still got to be consistent though. We still have to list a bunch of stuff because we're going away for the weekend. We'll have already been gone away by the time you see this, but we're going to have stuff to list while we're gone too. Uh oh. We just got to, we just got to power through. We're power gonna... through. Yeah. Okay. Thanks everybody for hanging out with us. We really do appreciate it. And we'll see you on the other channel. Link down below. Reseller workroom Monday through Thursday nights, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Time. Live listing on eBay. Come get some work done. Come on, hang out. You know you want to. You do.